What if I told you that you don't need any special tools or even the so-called KDP gurus to tell you that children's coloring books are in high demand in quarter four? Because there is a lot of celebration in the city and people will be going on to Amazon to search for the best gift items to give their loved ones. They are going to come up here and search for the best coloring books for kids, for example, and they will get tons of suggested books. As you can see here, this book was published recently and they are obviously making some cool cash already. But what if I told you that the best time to publish any children's book is now? Because Amazon Algorithm pushes newly published books to the first page during the first 30 days of publication. And you know what? We're going to model exactly what these guys are doing and even outrank them. This is the easiest way to make money right now. And there are just three steps to this, using three AI tools. And the best part is, these tools are all free. You don't need to pay for it. Step 1. Having done our keyword research and settled for the most trending coloring book. Then we are going to use ChatGPT to create a prompt for our interior. Step 2. We are going to be using Leonardo Alchemy to create astonishing images for the interior and book cover of our coloring books. Leonardo Alchemy is a newly upgraded version, and it does generate higher quality, just like the images here. So you will want to stick around to see all my used prompts. Step 3. We are going to use Canva.com to make both the interior and the book cover in the accepted format, and when we're done, we'll upload them to Amazon KDP. Let's start by identifying a profitable niche. After delving into the best sellers and hot Amazon new releases, it's clear that coloring books with themes related to the quarter four season tend to soar. Whether it's the cozy colors of autumn, the spookiness of Halloween, or the joy of Christmas, these themes are hot sellers. Looking at the Christmas and New Year coloring book, the good news is you still have a golden opportunity to cash in on this trend. By applying the strategies outlined in this tutorial, you can start profiting from this fantastic opportunity. However, in this video, since Christmas is the upcoming holiday, we're going to shift our focus to that Christmas theme. I'm going to leave you with a link in the description box to Amazon new release page, where you get to see all newly published children's book. And if you don't want to miss out on our next Amazon KDP series, then please subscribe and ring the bell and help us reach 500 likes on this video. To reach more persons, Lessons, let's get started. Our first AI tool is ChatGPT. We'll be using it to generate creative ideas for our Christmas-themed coloring pages. You know the best part, it's free to use, no need to spend any money. All you'll need to invest is your time and be creative. And here we have our prompt for our coloring book. Copy and paste this prompt to generate 50 scene descriptions for coloring pages. Wait for ChatGPT to complete the descriptions, and then let's work on it using Leonardo AI. And just so you know, you can also use the these prompts in other AI art generators like Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion, but for this video, we'll stick with Leonardo. You will be brought to the interface, scroll to have a feel of the Leonardo AI. You can even select from the platform gallery to generate a lookalike image if you want. And if you don't have an account yet, click on the create an account button to get access. But if you do just click on the launch app button, you will be brought to this interface, click on AI image generation to get started. Choose the number of images you want to generate at once. And remember you will be given 150 free daily token to use. So so use them wisely. You will need to pay close attention to this section. Now for the coloring interior dimension, adjust your dimension to this. Keep your width at 608 and the height at 1024. This will generate the image in a portrait shape. We'll be using Leonardo Diffusion XL as the model feature. Then click generate to create your coloring page using the prompt I provided in the description box. All you have to do is change the main subject and for us it's angel here. This was gotten from the output chat GPT generated earlier. Choose the best ones to create your own coloring images. Ensure that you tick the add negative prompt to write what you don't want to see in your image and for us it's colors. Now click to the generate button to have your images and there you go. Ask ChatGPT for more scenes, copy everything and create more images. At least you should have around 100 good images for your book. A minimum of 50 pages is ideal, as most coloring books on Amazon contain a similar number of designs. Once you are done generating the images before downloading, you can upscale to make the image even look better. Using the inbuilt upscaling feature here. When you take a closer look and you'll notice a distinct difference, especially when you zoom in. 
Now let's transition to the exciting part of creating your coloring book. Now head over to canva.com for the book interior design. Sign in, or if you don't have an account yet, you can sign up for free. Click on the create a design button. Go way down and click on custom size. The most common dimensions for coloring books are 8.5 by 11 inches. And there you go. You will be brought up to this interface. And if this is your first time with canva.com, I know it can be overwhelming, so you will need to pay close attention attention here. Click on upload to have all your generated images uploaded to Canva. I will click here to duplicate the pages for as many as I want. Now add all necessary pages first. A page for personal information, a thank you page, a color testing page, and a coloring tips page. You can use ChatGPT to assist you in creating your front matter using my prompt. And you can also go further and tell ChatGPT to write short content on all compulsory front matters, as seen here. But don't worry, as I said earlier, I will leave you guys with all the used prompts in the description box. And there you go, all my front matter are ready. I will leave a blank space between between each of the images for aesthetic purposes. Select your images here and start fitting them into the frame. Remember, the image should not go across the spine and the bled. This could result in an error while uploading your manuscript. So watch me fit them in and I promise I will be fast at this. We are halfway done, and if you look closely, you will notice some images kind of have a dark background, right? To correct this, come over here and click on Edit Photo. Then click on Adjust. In the selected area, choose Background to capture the image background. Now scroll down and adjust the whites feature to your liking. I think this looks better. I'm going to do this for the remaining images. I hope you get the drill. Now we have our interior page ready. Once you've finished arranging all your images, download the design as a PDF print. If you're on the free plan, ensure you stay away from all premium elements to avoid Canva's watermark on your design. I don't think it is a bad design. It really looks professional. Let me know what you think of the interior design in the comment section. To create a captivating book cover design, head back to Leonardo AI, but this time we will use a different dimension. Adjust the width to 1504 and height to 1024 for a longer width. This will avoid stretching the image. Use this prompt and click on generate to have your images. And there you go. They both look beautiful, right? Perfect for the theme. I think this is better, so I will go with this. We'll start by heading to your browser and typing KDP Book Cover Calculator. You will need to pay close attention here because you might get an error while uploading. Click on the first link you see and follow through. Now fill in the required information and choose your interior dimensions. Click on Calculate Dimensions and then download the provided template. Extract the zip file and open the PDF to copy the correct sizes to use on Canva. On Canva, navigate through and click on Custom Size. Copy the exact book cover dimension we downloaded from Amazon KDP Calculator. Click on Upload and upload both the template image and your book cover too. Adjust it to fit the frame. Now use the downloaded template as a guide and ensure every relevant part of your design doesn't go across those pink lines, which are the spines and bled. Once your design aligns perfectly, wouldn't it be nice to entice your reader with an eye-catching title? So turn to chat GPT for some creative inspiration. And remember to check out your competitor's book covers for inspiration as well. As soon as you are done, download your design, selecting the right format. 
Congratulations on getting to this section of the video. A quick one, guys. I will be starting a training on how to become successful on Amazon KDP for beginners only, or anybody who wants to create a new passive income too. This is paid training, but it will be made free to some selected persons. And to stand a chance to be selected, kindly leave a comment in the comment section. And I will randomly choose, I have limited slots. This opportunity is for people who have previously asked about my KDP training. So this is your time. Hurry now while the offer lasts. Our last step in this tutorial is to list our book on Amazon KDP. First, ensure you've created your own account on the platform, and if you have, just click on Sign In, and when you do, it brings you up here. Then click on Create to begin the book listing process. It's free. Choose paperback as your format and fill in all the required information about your book. To make your listing even more visible to potential buyers, I recommend learning from your competitors' listings. Study how they craft titles and description, check out some winning books on Amazon that share the same theme as yours, and use similar categories and subcategories. Having filled this section, now let's move on to the next step. Generate your KDP ISBN. Leave it at white and black. Choose the dimensions of your interior book. The trim size is 8.5 by 11, remember right? And choose here, no bleed, Matt. Upload your manuscript, which is your interior. Then upload your book cover. Ensure that you fill out the AI content generated section. Having done that, click on the launch previewer to check for possible mistakes. But if you have followed my step-by-step -step guide, you would have any errors. Now click on Approve to proceed. As you can see, your printing cost is $2.84, which tells you that your book price should be priced at $6.99 at minimum. However, this is totally up to you, now it's time to publish your book. Wait for it to be reviewed by the Amazon team, and after some hours you'll receive approval, and your book will be live on Amazon. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section. And I'll be happy to respond if this is your first time with Amazon KDP. Thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something today. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. Please hit that like button so we can reach 500 likes and beat the algorithm. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.